All right, so let's try this again. GM Vats of the Week. Disconnect your battery, take your junkyard ECU, unplug the stock ECU, plug in the junkyard ECU. We have to plug the battery back up. Got good James' face on here again. Oh, hell. He said, screw YouTube. He don't want nobody to see him. But whatever. Everybody's going to see him. <laughs> Shut up, mutts. If you don't like the backyard way of reflashing your vets, go to the field. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is the easy way to get your LS swap running. Um... Here. At least, uh, got the ECU hooked up here. Yeah, got to reconnect your negative. Uh, what year is this truck, Dan? 2002. 2002. 2002 uh, Tahoe. Yeah, we used this truck to. Disable the vats in my grandfather's truck. Now we're doing it for the cutlass. Got your battery hooked back up. I'm gonna grab this here dandy cell phone. Alright, set your timer. Timer. Oh. That's it, 10 minutes. Go 10 minutes. I'm coming in here. Turn your key on, all your lights come on. And start your timer for 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes is up, repeat the process. Key off, key on for another 10 minutes. And you got to do it for a total of three times for 30, 30 minutes. Times. And we'll come back to it after that. <laughs> Alright, so we've done left the key on three times. 10 minutes at a time. You see the security light is still on, but start it up. Let the truck run for a second. Body control module. This is gonna be kind of tricky with one hand. Unplug your body control module while your friend's truck is running. You notice the security light stays on now. What that does is it disables the body control module and the vehicle anti-theft system so that it doesn't require a chip key anymore. Um, and you'll be able to use this ECU in your LS swap. You'll see, I can now put the key off. And the junkyard ECU will now start the vehicle. Now I can use this junkyard ECU in my LS swap. Thank you guys for watching.